Hello Anna. I still don't believe we had gone to Saudi Arabia to do Muslim ritual activity going Umrah. I must thank to Pak Hudi and Pak Uyun who sponsored us to go there. Yes, I agree. I cannot hide my mixed feelings after visiting Medina and Mecca. We got a lot of chance to pray and reflect ourselves. I missed up that. Hope next year I will go. Oh that's a good memory and plan. I heard you lost one valuable suitcase. What a tragedy. I hope the travel agent can find it and return it to you, let Sally helps you. That's true Park Awan. I have a mixed feelings. I heard you also did that wave more than 10 times. It was a great achievement. Hope when I visit the place again I will do the same. It is only talking about commitment and seriousness. By focusing our view and chance, we can do the usual activity seriously and happily. Help you can still practice that here. I hope so but here so many disturbances. The atmosphere here does not support us to do the same like in Mecca and Madingbar. I need friends and community to make me immune. Anna you are too pessimistic. You can follow Buddha Riza, Fani, Ki and Easter to do the same. By doing that I think you don't lose the moment of Amro. I understand that the true souvenirs are not only concrete but abstract ones. Thanks for the suggestions. I realize that getting closer with the Lord I get many objections. Of course you have to go to toilet if you want to wash your hands or you've got period. I hope by sincere intentions you will get what you want. Being a good Muslim. That's absolutely right. As a parent we are good examples for your kids. What we say, talk, do and behave is our kids reflection. Thanks for this chatting. Goodbye. So long.